Good morning. It is time for another video. And as you can see, I am still here in Las Vegas. I'm standing here underneath the Bellagio, looking towards more of the homeless area of the Strip, and looking out over Paris. I'm going to be going into Cosmopolitan and Aria today. Hey, that was pretty good, the Cosmopolitan's right there, uh, on my morning walk. The fun thing is that in the morning, it's not so hot. There's a nice little breeze here in the valley, and you're not tripping over people. So I like the morning here. This particular topic for this video this morning is going to be what to do when your real estate transaction collapses. So right now in the city of Windsor, the market is changing and real estate transactions are falling apart. I just had a phone call from one of my clients who owns a tool and die shop in the city of Windsor. And he was saying that one of his employees had worked with a different realtor, had got a contract of sale for his current house, and had gone out because he had a contract of sale for his current house, had gone out and bought another house under contract. So he had given $10,000 of deposit to the new house, and he had accepted a $10,000 deposit on his house. The problem now is that his transaction, the sale of his current house, is falling apart. The person that wanted to buy his house wrote a clean offer, gave a $10,000 deposit, but now is walking away from that transaction. Can they is the question. And the answer is no, they can't. Without a penalty, without paying damages to the seller. So let's say that he owns the Trump Tower. That's his sale is the Trump Tower. Wherever my fingers at, there we go. He owns the Trump Tower and he sells the Trump Tower to somebody walking by. So that person walking by is under contract to buy the Trump Tower. If they cannot complete their transaction to buy the Trump Tower, then it can sell to the next person. The person that owns the Flamingo can step in and buy the Trump Tower. But, by the time the Trump Tower gets remarketed again, the Trump Tower, instead of being worth a million dollars, might only be worth 900,000. There's a hundred thousand dollars of damages when the person that owns the Flamingo buys Trump Tower for 900,000. So, the seller client of Trump Tower can sue the person that's staying at Caesar's Palace that backed out of the deal for a hundred thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars of damages. They can sue to take care of that. So at the end of the day, you need a lawyer when your real estate transaction falls apart to be able to guide you and to draft the letters, the first thing would be a letter of uh, performance that your lawyer would send over to the other lawyer saying, hey, we fully expect you to perform and close this transaction. Should you not perform and close the transaction, the house will be resold to somebody else perhaps that family going by there now, possibly for less, because the market's turned, 
and then that person that did not close their contract is under performance requirements to make up the difference and can and will be sued. Now, the challenge becomes the seller of Trump Tower has already gone over, they're downsizing, they're selling Trump Tower, and they went over and they bought a place in, ba in Bally's. Okay, they, they downscaled from Trump, Trump Tower to Bally's. So the problem now is that they can't close on their new purchase at Bally's until such time as the purchase of Trump closes. So they've also put a deposit on a unit in Valley. So they have a problem where they could be sued for non-completion of a contract. You can see how all of this real estate stuff gets complex. But what I coached my client to do is to have his employee have a release signed on the Bally's purchase first because then they're off the hook so if the seller at Bally's says okay yeah we'll sign a release and let you out then they're off the hook but don't sign a release and stay living in the Trump Tower until such time as what you decide what you would like to do. If you're still planning on selling, then bring your property back to market again and sell it. If you sell it for a loss, then sue the person who's on the hook. Make sure you do it. Many people don't, they let everybody off the hook and they say, well, let's chalk it up for whatever it is. No, it's not that way. If you had a really good realtor, a professional realtor, would have already explained to that person making a clean offer that they have a right of completion and that they will be sued if they do not complete. It's what a good realtor, a professional realtor is supposed to do. But they don't, they get all lazy. There's lots of lazy realtors out there that don't really explain anything. So that's what's going on right now. I pointed out that the person moving from Trump Tower to Bally's should have a release signed by the transaction in Bally's. Stay living at Trump Tower until they decide what to do. And if they decide to sell, then they should sue the person who made them a clean offer for whatever their damages might be. Now Trump Tower, they might be able to sell Trump Tower for $10,000 more when they're not damaged in any way. So they couldn't sue. But if they sell Trump Tower for $50,000 less, then they were damaged by $50,000, then they should sue. If somebody damaged you by $50,000, wouldn't you sue them? So at the end of the day, that's what's going on with these real estate transactions all around the city of Windsor, all around Canada, really, every major city. Uh, Toronto has a massive problem with that. Massive, absolutely massive problem with that. And I'm not going to end up getting over to uh, Cosmo and Aria today uh, because this other transaction, this other thing came up. And so I just wanted to spend time talking to you about what happens when a real estate transaction fails and the spring effect of that, how it goes from one transaction to another transaction to another transaction, and it just hurts everybody down the road. There'll be a lot of that coming up, a ton of it coming up, and that's what's going on in the Windsor real estate market. I'm gonna do one more quick video here today, which will be about the United States stock market, Make sure you tune into that. You're going to want to hear that one as well, too.
Thanks so much for watching. From Las Vegas, it's Brian.